everyone. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and do my weekly um, Amazon returns bin store haul. So today is Sunday. What is the date today? September 22nd. I think today's the first day of fall. Yes. And I went to bin store number two. It was $4 a day. And um, I didn't think I was going to find anything. And I found a lot of stuff. It's been a long time since I've bought this much from bin store number two. Um, I went right after they opened, probably about 1030. They opened at 10. So I wanted to beat the, uh, the church crowd. And of course, when I got there, there was only literally about five people <laughs> shopping in the store. So yeah, I was really lucky. So I'm going to go ahead and in no particular order, show you all the stuff that I got. So this first thing here, I got lucky with this because they, this particular store, well, the other store too, they have been like when they're um, stocking the bins on Thursday, they have now been taking certain electronics and putting them under a display case and then just putting a price on it instead of it being whatever it is on that day that, you know, you go shop. Um, so like anything that's like earbuds or um, like even cell phones, you know, tablets, um, power banks, you know, anything of that sort, they are now putting a, a fixed price on it, which kind of to me is like stupid because um, the whole point is like, you know, you go and everything in the store is supposed to be whatever that price is for that day. So I was lucky enough to find another um, power bank and it wasn't, it didn't have the sticker on it. And fortunately the cashier didn't like, you know, open the box or anything. And so I got it for $4. Um, I guess sometimes they miss the stuff that they, you know, that they're putting on the bins. And so, yeah, so this one in particular, because I'm going to give it to my niece, is for iPhone. I mean, it can be probably used for um, for Android, but I'm going to put a, um, what do you call this, the circular magnetic thingy on her phone, and then she can use this. And it's pretty flat because um, I think she has an iPhone X XR or something like that. It's an older phone. It was her dad's old phone. And so um, this one, at least it's lightweight and she's in band. So, you know, she um, goes to competition. So this will be good for her to have in her bag in case her phone is dying and, you know, she needs to charge it so that she'll be able to call my sister to be picked up, that whole thing. So I'm going to give that to her. I might just give that to her at Christmas. So the next thing I bought, and I'd already shown something similar to this, especially in my uh, planner tote um haul or not haul, but um, like what type of bags to use for like your planners and stuff. So this one is similar to it. It's a big canvas bag. And, but this one's even bigger than the other one that I got. And funny enough, I think I was already, I had been looking at something like this on Amazon, not on Amazon, like Temu, Shein, you know, AliExpress. And this one has um, a divider and then on top of that, there is a section here, I guess, for you to be able to put your water bottle, you know, kind of thing. But um, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to use it for a planner, but it would be a good, you know, travel bag to just throw throw all your stuff in. I mean, it's pretty, um, it's pretty solid. It's just all canvas. Unfortunately, it's just this color, you know, this um, vanilla, whatever you want to call it, off-white color but it's okay. I mean, yeah, it will show dirt, but I really would love to put like something here, like rivets or something so that when you put it on the ground, it's not just this bottom that's touching the ground. You know what I mean? So got that. And then, oh, and yes, today, everything in that store was $4. Okay. So I did find this. I don't know how much this goes for. It's been a while since I've looked at how much, um, cardstock goes for at Walmart because I do believe they sell this at Walmart but I thought I might as well go ahead and pick it up because I don't think I have some of these colors and I've been reaching for card colored cardstock more often than I have you know like in the last year or two because I'm slowly getting back into my um my die cutting machine so I wanted to go ahead and get that so you know, I have it on hand. I found this, which was surprising. So yes, 
four dollars and i like the sharpies especially um, the ultra fine so got a lot of these colors um, i tend to just usually use just the black but it's always good to have all these extra colors um i found this it's a pack of five by seven um photo books or photo albums and I plan on using this to store stickers or, um, you know, anything ephemera or whatnot, because I figured this would be a good way to, especially stickers, like the, let me see if I can find one here, like the doll, I have so much of the Dollar Tree um, stuff. Sorry, I'm looking for a trash bag and I don't have one, I guess, because I'd already taken it out. So... It says it's a two pack, but there's actually four. Yeah, which is actually good. So I got it for four bucks, right? And let me see, is there not one that I can grab here? <clears throat> Hold on, that's right next to me. Yes, there is. So let's just grab a random one here. Okay, so for instance, like these, these are the rub-ons here. It well, should, it or maybe not <laughs> if it's sticking out that's completely fine because i want to finally get you know get them out of the packaging and put away so it's just easier for me to be able to find the stuff and be able to use it so um yeah so we got let's see i just stick it this is, like I said, this will be good for also sticker sheets as well. Um, because I have no need of like storing five by seven pictures. I'm not printing pictures in a five by seven size. If anything, it would probably be four by six. Yeah, it's a little big, but you know, it's okay. I mean, I'm fine with that because they're going to be sticking up in my RASCOG anyways. So we got that. Move this bag over some more and then I did find actually this was the first thing that I had found was another photo album okay but this one is four by six and I wanted to store all the postcards that I've been collecting in this um I've been wanting to store it in an album of some sort and I was going to bring a postcard up here I'm trying to see if there is one up here hold on one second yes here we go so here are some of the japan japantown ones that i had purchased last year oh i guess it's going to go in the five by seven so it is actually too small so i might just go ahead and just give this to my mom sorry about that i didn't realize the battery died so annoying that's like a typical thing here on my channel the battery dying on me okay so anyways i was talking about this i did find this i don't know where i had cut off but this is one of those uh post-it pop-ups and it comes with the two uh, page flag thingies and i don't know if i'm going to bring this to work i may just keep this here at home because i tend to use these as bookmarkers um, when i'm reading books because the adhesive is really good and um you know yeah i don't really have a need for this at work so I think I will keep it at home, but um, I do like using these pop-ups and I know this goes for a lot of money. So um, yeah, that was a steal right there because um, I, it wasn't in a box, but it was, it's completely intact. I was able to remove the cover if I needed to. And then I have two more things. So let me go and get them and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Damn, that hurt. Kind of scratched my finger. Okay, so this was towards the end of um, me looking at all the bins. Damn, that really hurt. Sorry. Um, I found this box was actually open. It's pretty torn up, but I was really excited to find it because I don't see these that often. So this is a custom mechanical keyboard. Um, yes, you know me, I love my keyboards. And so um, it's a pretty pricey one, too, because when I saw that it had a cover like this, I was like, oh, this one's going to be a good one. And then I could see that it was made out of metal. So I'm going to take it out of the box and then 
move the box because it takes up so much space. So this is made out of aluminum. And when I looked it up on it on Amazon, this goes for $80. <laughs> I mean, it is heavy and I like the way that it looks. I have put a couple of um, switches here, which are silent switches. So um, these are my favorite type of switches. As you can hear there, <laughs> had to get my microphone really close to it. Um, but it's interesting because these are south facing LEDs on here. I've never had a keyboard that had south and it's got the knob, although I'd have to purchase um, my own knob. It didn't come with one. So yeah, I'm excited to use this. And the only thing is it's missing the dongle. I think that's for the dongle right there. But it's also supposed to be wireless and USB-C. So, um, and it, weirdly enough, it doesn't have like the manufacturer on here at all, but it is definitely, um, solid. So going to try that. Um, I don't think I'll bring that one to work. I think I will just use this here at home. So we've got that. And then the last thing that I found was really interesting because this bag right here, I knew that this had to be um, a really good bag. It's just the quality of it, but it's kind of an odd, um, I couldn't find it on Amazon. I mean, I found the brand, but I couldn't find this particular one. It's called Tom Talk, but it's, they make like these utility type of bags, like tech bags and stuff. But this particular one, I could not find um, on there. So I'm going to have to probably go on the website. So you've got a pocket here. And then you've got, when you open the main one, you've got the pocket here on the side. Okay, pretty, very roomy. And then you have this right here. Okay, and I was like wondering if it's, I think it is. I think it's going to be good for like um, me using it to put like lenses in there. But I thought this was an odd shape and it didn't, I didn't realize until I got home that that looks kind of like something you would put, um, you would put a Nintendo Switch in. It's got to be, right? Either a Nintendo Switch or some kind of gaming or maybe a, um, like a, a Steam Deck or something like that. But I just like the fact that this is kind of hard. So if I want to put, you know, if I want to bring like two lenses, I can slip that in here. Um, I don't know what I would put here, but it's just a, it's just a, a really odd configuration. But um, yeah, and then you have this right here. So I guess you could put it on your luggage, you know, slide it on the luggage kind of thing. So um, yeah, I'm going to look it up and see what was it really intended for. But I'm going to use it more for like camera accessories and for lenses. So yeah, that, those are all the things that I found today for $4 each. Um, it was a pretty good day over at the bin store. Um, that store is much more crazier in terms of like the, not only just the stuff they get, but just because the fact that they're not as strict on people about, you know, like tearing the boxes open and stuff. So there just stuff is all over the place at that store. And that is kind of frustrating at times because, um, you know, you find a box and you're like, Oh my God, you know, I can't believe I found this only to find that the box is empty because somebody took the shit out either. I don't know, stole it or they paid for it, but it's just kind of like they took it out of the box. You know, that's happened many times to me at that particular store. I find something really good and then it's not in the box. And sometimes I'll find it like further into the bin or two, two bins, five bins later, you know, but, um, yeah, so I probably won't go back to the bin store until next Saturday again. So if I do buy anything, I will definitely film it and add it onto this video. So it looks like it'll be like a Sunday and then a Saturday type of thing. So mostly I'll be showing just $6 and $4, you know, items. Okay. So I hope everyone's had a great weekend and I hope you have a great week. All right. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, 
All right, today is Saturday, September 28th. So I went to bin store number one, which, and it was $6 day today. So let me go ahead and show you what I was able to get. So this first one is a little <coughs> big, excuse me. Um, I got this blanket because I'm going to give it to one of my nieces uh, because she is a big Swifty fan. So it's this right here. It's it's folded, but this is what it looks like. It's purple and it's just one of those velour type blankets. And I'm going to give this for her birthday um, in December. So, yeah, I, the reason why it's out of the packaging is because I had them open it so that I could see it. And um, it's OK because I can just box this up. I might go back tomorrow because they did have another one. I've just got to go and look for it again so I can give that to a different niece um, because they are both big Swifty fans and they uh, both had said that they wanted Swifty blankets. So yeah, I'll get the other one one too. So they don't feel left out. So the second items that I got, there are two of them, are these um, ordinary uh oh okay so one is the hyaluronic acid um which is really good for your skin i highly recommend it it's really helped in terms of like with my um oiliness and this one is a caffeine solution so this one says it's supposed to reduce the appearance of eye contour pigmentation or puffiness funny because when i saw this i didn't even look i just assumed it was another hyaluronic acid but that's okay because maybe i'll have my mom try it um She's not here. She's actually now in Australia. Um, I just spoke to her um, about 20 minutes ago. Okay, so this one has not been used. So, yeah, maybe I'll have her try it. I don't really have a problem with, like, dark circles or puffiness. And plus, I have those eye patches, you know, the gel eye patches to use. Um, so, yeah, I'll just give that to her. And then we've got the hyaluronic acid one. Let's see. I've always been curious about this. I've been curious about the ordinary brand anyways. So yeah, I'll try it, especially in the winter, just to see how it, you know, how it turns out. Um, let's see. So I found this. It was kind of funny. Actually, let me pull the other one first that I found. I saw this and it's the Fememo um, labels. I always keep running into this and a lot of people at these bin stores don't know what they are. So I always pick them up when I see them and it was a pack of six because I can always use them. And then there are the square labels. Yeah, they're the square labels. So, I mean, it's not bad because I think these go for more than 20 on Amazon, you know? So when I found that, then I found this so it was like kind of laid to the side like that and i saw the memo and it's usually i see, i guess this is their new packaging because it's usually packaged like this the printers so um i didn't know it was a printer inside i was just like what it's kind of nice the um the box so it was partially opened and turns out there was a little tiny printer in there and so I've tested it out. It works. And what the heck, man? This is the cheap, the, the really cheap one. The T, I think it's the TO2. And it's actually printing a better quality because I tested it out than the other Fememo printers that I have. I don't know what it is because the print head, it kind of like prints half the way and then it's kind of briefly like a half a second pauses and then prints. So I always have this line across and I don't know why it does that, but these printed out so cleanly. Look at that. And the quality is really good. And this is supposed to be the lower resolution one. So I don't know what's weird. I'm going to probably end up using this more than my, the ones, the one that I had ordered from Amazon. And then the other ones that I'd found at the bin stores. Um, yeah. Cause it's, it prints really, really nice. It's just strange. So put those to the side. I found this to give to one of my nephews. I have two nephews and they're both obsessed with Pokemon. So, um, and they love Crocs, <laughs> but unfortunately the weather's starting to get cooler. So, you know, um, I probably will just, maybe I'll wait till Christmas or I might just wait until the spring and then give it because I don't want them to lose, you know, lose these. And I know they're going to enjoy putting those on their Crocs. So I have another set um, that I haven't given them yet either. 
So this is funny because I found this last week, but it was out of the box. And so this is, um, it's just like a, a, what do you call this? Um, it's I'm okay. So I'm going to use this actually as a letter opener because I need one at work because I, I get a lot of like, um, I have to deal with like disability paperwork and stuff for patients. So, um, yeah, I get it a lot of mail and I can't find my, you know, just regular, what do you call this? Um, letter opener. So I plan on just using this instead. And I guess it's based off of this character. And I have, um, I have no idea who she is. I don't know if it's based off of a game or an actual anime, but like I said, I saw this like laying out, um, somebody had taken it out of the box. I don't think I'm gonna put this on cause that's kind of annoying, but yeah, I just thought it was kind of funny. Um, but it's metal, you know, and just fits in there kind of locks right in yeah so yeah i mean if somebody tries to steal it i mean hello it's mine like nobody else at work is going to have something like this you know so i'm going to go ahead and bring that to work let me just stick this back on i'm gonna put that sorry oh Sorry, my microphone is actually in a different place now. I have it like a headset. So if I have to brush, you know, rub my nose, I'm actually accidentally touching it. Okay. And then, is there anything else in here? Let me see. Oh, it's my glove. So when I rummage through all these bins, I always make sure to wear like these type of gloves because you never know. When there's like stuff that's out of the packaging that's got a sharp edge or like liquids have been like spilled and then stuff is sticky. So I always wear gloves, you know, and it helps grip stuff, especially when I'm moving big boxes. So the last thing that I got was this, this Rise Coffee. Now, I have been seeing this on freaking uh, Instagram and Facebook. It keeps popping up. And I've been really, really curious, but I did not want to spend the amount of money that they're charging for it. I think it's something like maybe $20. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be patient and wait for the bin stores to get it. And sure enough, they got one. Um, six bucks. Hey, not bad. So it's supposed to be kind of like coffee, but it's all made out of mushrooms. And I love mushrooms. So um, yeah. So I'm going to try this because it's actually good for up to 30 servings. So let's just, you know, let's just see how it tastes. Um, hopefully it's going to taste really good. So I do definitely have to add creamer or milk. Um, but I'll try it first dark and then, or black, and then see about adding, you know, some cream. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the stuff that I had gotten, um, from the bin store this week. Um, from the $6 day today and then the $4 Sunday uh, last week. So I'm going to combine, like I said, these two. And um, I'm definitely going to go back again tomorrow to bin star number two because it'll be $4 day, see what they have. And yeah, that's my haul for the week. Hope everyone's having a great week and a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.